Hello everybody, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, no step back. You are on Ukrania Gaming and I'm Andrew. So, I hope you're having a good day. We start uh, this episode in uh, April the 21st, now 22nd. And just to give you a quick summary of what we have done in the last episode. In Romania and Turkey are under uh, our control. And to be very honest, I think that now the resistance should be... Yes, the resistance is quite okay, I would say. I think we can start moving our spies in Germany. Where we will try to infiltrate maybe the army and get some um, interesting scientific blueprints. At the same time, we're working on the improved medium chassis and improved armor protection, so we'll be uh, soon able to put into production of our first line of tanks. And uh, also Disperse Industry 3 Advanced Machine Tool. This is all great. Okay, let me have a look because we have still some political power. We have to, we must change the volunteer-only policy, but I'm not sure if I want to go there first. I think I will take uh, our... Yeah, Iron Lazar. Or not really. I think actually I, I'm not going to unlock any political advisor. Probably Nikita Khrushchev would be interesting for an extra 5% of political power, but very honestly, that's not that important. So, important. so what is important uh, on the other hand is to find all those regions that are producing <laughs> Azerbaijan guys, I forgot this one, which is massively useful with uh, 42 per uh, 42 oil more the jev where's where's the steel where is the steel here yeah i think that's it let's 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 create some more infrastructures and yes so regarding the tanks so far so good I think I might work on the anti-air. I think I also might work on a better uh, equipment. Absolutely. And then we can start uh, researching probably something for our aircrafts. Oh, let me see. Okay, our next uh, um, our next focus is the industrial modernization. Of course, I am focusing as much as possible in industry because when the war will start, we won't have any possibility left, but uh, for the time being, that's uh, definitely useful. Mm, the modernization will give us uh, two research bonuses in terms of industry and a plus 5% production efficiency cap and a plus 10% retention. Not bad at all. Now here we go to the airplanes and we look for the fighter level two. And I think we are getting very close to the moment where we switch and from being, a, let's say, a soft uh, power focusing on infrastructures and factories, we will be a strong power focusing on the army. But we are not there yet. Not yet. I think I'm going to unlock the army drill specialist or the reformer. The reformer is giving just more experience. Let, let, let's get a 5% uh, division training time. It's okay. That's okay. And now look at this. Look at this. We might already do construction. Wow, that, that's, that would be great. Actually, a bonus on excavation is even better. Or a bonus on the computing machine is absolutely wonderful. Because it will take less time and we will get another plus 8% on the research speed. Not bad at all. And let's have a look at the... Yes, sir. Italy joined the Axis. Bad. Um, look at this. Artillery. We need 5,300 pieces. We will build uh, immediately artillery of level 2 because we have the technology. Now, on the national focus, I could go directly to the cult of personality of Stalin. But we need more propaganda campaign. Okay. So, uh, I will do more propaganda campaign, but at the same time, optimize the product lines. 
What do we need? Require shift to armament, which I cannot do. Ah, no, 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 no. We are at peace. Uh, to the restoration and development, we need uh, to be in, at war. So we might increase the state reserve of oil. Or we might increase our railway. Huh. I think that might be very useful, you know. Very, very useful. Otherwise, I could go for the collectivization. I, let's go. Let's go for the collectivization and let's take. Okay, first of all, we signed the lot of Ribbentrop, and we take more. Uh, let's take transport is the sibling of the Red Army, so we start building a little bit better, a little, a little bit uh, more. Look at this railways because i think i'm going to improve uh then let's let's do it now minsk wait a second i am going to defend on this side i'm going to defend on the stalin line so first of all i will need a hub but i'm going to do it i'm going to do it now or later I need in Kiev and I need another one here. The others are all behind the lines, so that's fine. Let's wait a second. Let's wait a second before we uh, before we build uh, the let's say the the, the 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 supply centers. We will build them, but they take a lot of time, so we need to be careful. Let's improve our um, infrastructure, our railways first. Now let's see. So, at the moment we have 105 civilian factories and 37 military factories, fine. As you can see now, uh, we keep doing military, uh, but we do also infrastructure and then uh, we will do the railways before moving into military. That's not the best case scenario. Maybe it's a good idea if I start building some more military factories. I will do that. I think I will do that. And then the chief of Air Force, I will need 100 political power points. I get 144, wow, pretty poor and stability are, are quite good. Not bad at all, really. Not bad at all. Okay, we have the advanced machine tools. Mm, I think I really can get the excavation or, sorry, construction four takes only 89 days because of all the boosts that I got uh, through, uh, thanks to uh, the, the, the focus uh, and I think another 10% construction speed and repair speed, it's absolutely great. So let's take it immediately. Construction for two years in advance is great for what we have to do now. And now think, I think I can also soon uh, unlock a new land doctrine and in particular the grand battle plan which is going to give me plus 10 percent planning and plus 025 command every day the next one the prepared defense is giving a 10 percent defense to all my infantry which is massive if you think about that great very good very very good and now we unlock mm, we unlock air accidents chance minus 10%. I think it's a good idea. Due to the fact that our <laughs> our air forces are horrible. At the moment, at least. Let's wait another few days and we take Yakov Smushkevich. And we bring him in our air forces. Come on, move. Come on. Fantastic. So, we have actually a 028 daily gain in army experience. I like it, and we started doing some experience, I, I really like it, and the rest, okay, Navy experience is, uh, is horrible, and for the air experience we are doing some progress as well. The Intelligence Agency, let me see, look at this, we can start now mm, infiltrating, I think, 
infiltrate the army with Sorge and Marcader. We start when we are ready and let's start the army infiltration. And by the way, let's boost the passive defense to the maximum. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And I can't remember when will I be able to fight against Japan in Vladivostok because I still have six divisions here with Vasilevsky and by the way this one should be also converted and actually I think that all those guys should uh, train at least until I don't have the event and then yeah I think it's a good idea so they're all at the maximum of their experience unfortunately they're lacking um, artillery i'm not producing enough artillery that's the problem and i wanted to start as soon i <clears throat> as soon as i get the right technology which i have already but unfortunately i don't have the factories and that's that's a big problem so now we are done with the infrastructure almost and we start uh, um restructuring our railways we will need them if we want to give enough equipment to our troops uh, the logistic is very important, but let's speed up a little bit more. With the max factories in state plus 10%, I think we will be able now to build a lot of military industries where we have the 100% uh, infrastructure. And thanks to Construction 4 and all our bonuses, the militarization will be fast. I, I really hope so. Okay, Poland refuses the ultimatum, and so that's going to be tricky. Mobilization speed plus 50, polygon power plus 20. Okay. I really don't care about this right now. I'm going to take the Komsomol quickly. And the war started. The war has just started, guys. Second World War. Oh my goodness. Passive defense. Pretty good. Great. I see that we have some more uh, resistance here. That's not good. Okay, we have infiltrated the army. No, not yet. 29 of October. This is what's going to happen. Poland is uh, absolutely... It's getting crushed, as usual. But look at the, at the speed that we have now. In the creation of our railways very important very very important the consumer is also very important because it will allow me to use a second oh i like this resist speed plus five percent yes let's do that let's do that and let's get another focus so let me see very quickly real quick if i can get more uh, industry Actually, I don't need this, I think. I will have a supply hub in Murmansk and Armenia, but I don't need it. Not really. Mm. Yeah, that's not what I need yet. Okay, I think we start moving somewhere else. So I think I will get the Cominter, which will give me plus 50 political power. And then we start focusing on the army. Okay. Um, yeah, now of course we have a little, a little discount here. Excavation 3. Let's do that. So we will switch to the new armament, so we'll uh, be able to build more rifles. And we must start building... Um, wow! We are, we are done with... Wow! Guys, we are definitely done with... Uh, and I love it. The railways. Which leaves us with a lot of... Uh, military factories to, to do and those military factories are going to feed directly the improved artillery uh, and so we will start feeling finally our troops and we will be able to hire more 
even more. Okay, the tank designer will give me speed and reliability. I think speed and reliability is great. So let's take the model stuff. Great for this. Great, great, great. Now um, let's start having the engineer level 2. And let's switch immediately to the infantry equipment of level 2. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally Eastern Poland. And we have Eastern Poland. We will, uh, we will cover... We defend ourselves behind this line. Uh, I'm gonna create a lot of force behind this line. I will let them come here. I will blow up our <sighs> railways and let them starve in the pot, in the pond. Sorry. <laughs> so okay, we have the coming turn. Let's take the positive heroism because it will give me. Wow. Our recovery rate. Mm. I think I can I can go finally through the Stalin uh, line. Plus ten stability is just amazing. Let's get another ten stability, and then we move directly to the army um, reform. I think it's a good idea. Finally, but uh, what makes me very happy is that now we powered up our um, infrastructure and now we have level 3s almost everywhere, at least uh, in the places where we need them. And now we start November 39, building up also our military factories when we have 125 civil, soon 128. I think it's enough. I think that's definitely enough. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wonderful. Okay. So, let me see. Look at this. Amazing. Netherlands has already capitulated. Fantastic. We are not producing uh, infantry, but we don't have yet the 20 military factories on the <clears throat> our, on artillery, so... We cannot do that. Then we are going on the fighters. Uh, soon we have the model 2. And then we go on the cusp. And that's going to be our army. Then we keep building and building and building the same thing. Uh, the, the tanks will be done later on. Not now. Not now. Okay, we can keep now speed, uh, the, the speed 5. <clears throat> this stability is just great. I, I forgot that we have this one because it's gonna give us probably more factory output and, ma and less consumer good in the factories. So that's wonderful. Woohoo, 36%, not bad. Let's boost also the decimatic rudder. We have to build a lot of them. Mm. Not really. Okay, let's move to the strength of the mobilization. Uh, Path. It will, it's going to give us also more manpower. And by the way, let's go on the limited conscription. <laughs> let's try, let's start getting there. Let's start getting there. And as you see now, I'm doing military factories only in those regions where I have infrastructure 100, except for one that has 80. I saw, but I don't care. And uh, this is a th to this together with all the bonuses and construction for is building up really 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 fast our military factories and if everything worked as expected i should be able now to fill this line very fast as you see we have already 17 um, military factories soon 20 and when we will reach the maximum okay stop i will talk about this later <laughs> okay so let's change this into fighter 2 absolutely and we see that the Japanese are going to attack us. Oh man. So we uh, are soon 
getting attacked by Japan, the provocation will be here. So we stop immediately the training immediately and we keep uh, we start organizing we are going to see now if our defense uh, will work this is all fine this is all fine this we don't care uh okay we can improve our artillery we are fine with the tanks so far let's continue now boosting our infantry i think that here We don't need to cover Vladivostok, but we have to cover this uh, tile. So we are moving here our units and expect them to entrench as fast as possible. So they will have the maximum the maximum bonus. So the national focus strength and the mobilization is done. Cohesion first will give us more training time, but also more organization in the army, which we need, absolutely. So our tank... 12% our infantry, 19% defense in combat. Great. Now we keep the entrenchments. I should have done it before, but those troops, by the way, are not fully maintained. You see, we, we are missing artillery, but whatever. Uh, if I look now at the production line, I think we have 19 factories out of 20. So things are getting better. We produce 17.9 a day. That's what I was saying before. I think when we will have the maximum efficiency, we produce 50 units of artillery a day and, and we're going to feel this, this uh, requirement quite fast. So that's why I'm going to move directly to 10 fighters and then uh, 10 casts as soon as possible. I don't have them yet, but we put them here. Let's do 5-5, five, five, then, then let's see. Okay, let me see. The provocation should come in four days. And I think that in four days our uh, entrenchment will be maximum. Okay, static warfare, trench warfare, division template. Wonderful. Very good. Hmm, I could have built um, a bunker. I forgot about that, but... Okay. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I speed up a little bit because I thought that it would happen now, but probably was wrong. Look at the speed. Look how many factories we are building now. Cushion first. Great. Rehabilitated military. It's going to give us plus organization. Let's do that. Now we have also the engineers. Better engineers are providing also with more entrenchment, I think. And more logistic company. Okay, let me see if the entrenchment has changed. Yeah, now we have a maximum of 48. And we try to get engineers of level 3 before the war starts. And now I think I can start using the political power also to build uh, some resources. Okay, it seems that the Japanese are not attacking, what the... Fine, I, I don't know, guys, I really don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but fine. How many factories do we have now? 58, okay, great. Let's build more of them. Where I see an 100, I, I build. When the 100s are done, I think I will, uh, I will boost more... Yeah, let me do more infrastructures. At this point, I will move all the infrastructure here behind Moscow and push them up. Okay, reserve slot, great. Let's go to the infantry once again then, and let's take better uh, better equipment. And for the three factories, okay, we have five, five. Now we turn it into a 10, 10. So now we start building fighters and closer support, as you can see, uh, together with artillery which is getting really, really efficient now. As soon as we have integrated our troops, we start drafting as many uh, soldiers as possible. We have just a year, one year to do that. And we should also produce our tanks, but we don't do it yet. 
just not now. We have a dock tree. Wonderful. Okay, and we need more gum, so let's do it. Rubber, I call it gum, but <laughs> it's actually rubber in English. Pity that I forgot completely that I could steal now some blueprints. I completely forgot. It's risky, who cares? When it will start? When I, 20 August of the 40, okay. I'm not gonna work in Romania because uh, I won't be able to keep this oil for a long time. Because as you know, I want to leave Romania completely under the enemy control. Uh, but I don't care too much. Just a little bit. So one factory usually takes around about less than a month to be completed. And that's not bad. So when we have around about 100 military factories, we can focus on the defense. So rather bunkers, airports. Apparently, Japan did an attack. Or am I wrong? I think they did an attack. I, I think... I have no idea, but I think they didn't. Another thing that I could do, maybe, is move back to the free trade at a certain point. From the free trade, but let's see. Okay. After the rehabilitated re military, we have to get uh, a military reorganization. And then experts in camouflage, which will give us another entrenchment. And that's not bad. And then we will go through the PCDI line. Okay, we need to, to uh, develop more aluminium, unfortunately, because we have to import it now. Uh, bad, bad, bad. Okay, mm. so now we are we are too much ahead of time. Great. Let me see. Okay, we are almost there with the artillery. So we have almost integrated all the art artillery in our uh, template. And what I forgot? What did I forget? Look at this. I don't have the anti-air and I don't have the logistic. And I didn't start building the anti-air yet. Oops. <laughs> that's that's a problem huh? that's a big problem and by the way we are using a lot of industry now to have more material in particular steel chromium tungsten and so on and so on okay i think that from a perspective of aircraft uh, of air power now we are good we have level two casts and level two fighters that we have to produce of course but I think we have everything what we need. Good, I think I will wait now until the military factories will be full. Uh, probably it's gonna be enough to fill the lines that I wanted. And probably I will, I will double up the fighters and have uh, 20 factories only on fighters. But let's see. At a certain point, I need also to have more uh, support equipment and more aluminium. Of course. It's June of the 40. No, not yet. Engineering is also here. It's okay. We can boost the radars. Yes, we can. Okay, we are now building up more infrastructure. I think I will do it, but that's going to be the last time I I, uh, I go for the infrastructure. Fine, I think I will do it for the last time. Wonderful. Four companies, no, not yet. 
armor. Let's be, let's let's increase our artillery. And okay, now we have more factories. Let's move. Let's give more factories to the fighters. And now look at this. Improved artillery. We uh, we have enough artillery in all our army. We have the military reorganization. And let's go for the experts in camouflage. And now let's take the doctrine, which will increase of 10% our defense. What we are going to do now is to uh, go in the recruitment panel and start training. Oop, that's a mistake. 24. Let's do this. Let's say 48 um, divisions. We have, of course, the rifles and everything. We have everything. What we need, what we, uh, what we lack, is the support equipment and the artillery. But the lines are efficient now, so we will be able to fill them. Probably, it's also time to increase the support equipment to eight <clears throat> and use more factories. So we have all the material that we need, all of it. Fantastic. And now I can take the last political advisory thing. Supply hub construction, railway construction is not bad. Train, uh, well, I don't know if this is what I need. <laughs> I don't think it's what I need. Okay, let's build now the anti-air because we have to start producing them as well. And then we integrate them. Okay, Greece center the axis. Oh, uh, the allies, yes. That's, that's, uh, that's the time when Italy is fucking up the Barbaros operation. So, um, Dan, centralization and discipline is not that important. Let's found the PCDI. And let's move then to the, to the phase where we start building up our defenses. But look at this. Look at this. We have three civilian factories now because we have now the chance to industrialize all this area, including Ryazan and Kaluga. So let's do it. And Smolensk as well, I guess. Or Kursk. Belgorod. Where are those places? Here. More military factories. More military factories. The good thing is that um, doing so, we need a lot of support equipment and artillery, but uh, we are training already the men. Um, to be honest, the support equipment now goes to a round 10 instead of 8. Even if I know that we didn't prioritize this, so it will take a while. We need still 5 factories to the fighters, and then 5 factories will go to the support equipment. Which is okay. It's alright. Okay, before closing this episode, Let me take a material design. Yeah, let's take the discount on on this. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a very good idea. And uh, uh, by the way, let's keep doing some decryption. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and see you next time.